And what we are doing is taking a very small step forward from nutritional biochemistry, that is studying how nutritional ingredients interact with the body, to using them therapeutically. One starts off by breaking down in as much detail as one can the uh, individual, the multiple metabolic errors and imbalances that we know drive degenerative disease. And then we cross-reference against these metabolic errors the known pharmacological properties of a whole raft of food derivates. People are depleted not just in all the vitamins and all the trace elements or minerals. They're also depleted uh, increasingly in the essential fatty acids, uh, in the various different types of dietary fiber, and in many of the categories of phytonutrients. Now these are a relatively recently discovered group of compounds derived, as the name implies, from fruits and vegetables and other plant foods, such as flavonoids, carotenoids, vanilloids, limonoids, compounds like that. We now know that these play a very, very important role uh, in determining our overall risk of disease. These compounds appear to be highly cardioprotective, chemoprotective, neuroprotective, and we are certainly no longer eating enough of those. What can we do to protect ourselves? Well, taking a little bit of exercise, not smoking, all these things are very important. Over and above that, there appear to be a group of micro and phytonutrients that are significantly protective. On top of that, I would say that the omega-3s clearly play a protective role in the sense that, uh, amongst other things, they will uh, facilitate arterial relaxation, uh, reduce inflammation in the artery walls. I would add the phenolic compounds, the flavonoid compounds and the related compounds, which have the capacity, again, to heal inflammation in the artery walls, which we now know is at the core of the disease process that culminates in hypertension, stroke and heart attacks. And then there's a whole host of other ancillary micronutrients, if you will. The antioxidant trace elements, copper, zinc, selenium, very important here. And uh, a handful of vitamins, the B vitamins, vitamins C and E, and the carotenoids. Uh, with a program like this, if you're doing the right things, then your overall risk of heart disease and cardiovascular and cerebrovascular disease should be reduced by 90% or more. We are getting to a point where I think we do have a sufficiently good understanding of the way in which different food derivates interact with different parts of your body, different metabolic steps, different biochemical systems, that we can say, here's a combination which is rational, it reproduces the nutrient density of, let's say, the Mediterranean or the Victorian diet, and we're putting that into a form which is convenient and accessible. And I think that there is really no coherent argument anymore against that. We're trying to rectify all of the problems, but we're doing them with ingredients that the body is familiar with and knows how to deal with. NutriShield fully meets Dr. Paul Clayton's objective, which is to support the body's own natural defensive and self-healing powers. Its uniquely comprehensive formula includes omega-3 fish oil for heart health, CoQ10, an anti-aging nutrient, glucosamine for joint health, betaine for heart health, vitamin E and carotenoids for cell health, lycopene for cellular health, lutein for eye health, bilberries and green tea flavonoids for heart health, soy isoflavones for cellular health, curcumin for heart, joint and cell health, which is a particularly strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. The multivitamin and mineral caplet doesn't just contain all the A to Z vitamins and minerals, but contains them at an optimum, not just an RDA level. Prevention really is better than cure. They're finding out that the best way to switch on the good genes and switch off the bad genes isn't with drugs, it's actually with good nutrition.